I don't need a chaplain telling you what battles to fight. The real battle is arguing with you. A lot of wounded. What's going on? Look, we don't get those hearts, we don't get water, and everyone dies. <sighs> I'm going back to the pens. I'll gut those machines myself. So machines did this? An Easterner with hair like blood. The outlander that took down the bulwark. You bested Regala. Killed her champion Greta, too. Both of them were our clan. It's Aloy, and I'm not looking for any trouble. Well, maybe I could use some trouble right about now. Out there is a big herd my people harvest. We take the machine's hearts, send them to our capital, get paid with water. It's it harder every year. Killer machines keep showing up to defend the herd. Last one hit us right as we were penning up our prey. Nearly wiped us out. But our quarry is still in the pens, which means if I can get their hearts, we can trade for the water we need. If you go out there alone, you'll probably wind up dead, Draka. I'm not going alone, Chaplain. The great champion killer is coming with me. How about you answer some questions first? What can you tell me about this herd? Been there for years. We harvest the parts we need from it. No more, no less. New machines always show up to replace our kills. What about the killer machines you mentioned? They guard the herd. The more we take out, the more arrive. First Sawtooths, then Ravagers. Now, a sandblasted Thunderjaw. Hit us right as we were herding machines into our pens. Had to leave half my hunters behind to fend it off. Only survivors are the ones you see here. Doesn't sound like you like this commander of yours. Survival in the desert requires a more disciplined approach than that of other clans. That means she really likes her rules and order. But you don't. I just don't like hers. This is insubordination. Well, I must be dehydrated. You mentioned the capital gives you water. There's no giving. We pay tribute for it with machine parts. Parts being the most valuable. Every other desert village has some resource to exchange. But the capital of Scalding Spear is the only one with a constant supply of water. Here in dry country, it's the same as holding everyone's lives in their hands. It is the way of the desert. How we've always survived. Yeah. So you're a chaplain, like Decca. You've met Decca? Her blades were something to behold back when I still had a squad. Now, just like she counsels the Lowlanders, I counsel the Desert Clan. Those who reach my age are meant to share our wisdom with the young. Keep them on the true warrior's path when their stubbornness kicks up dust and clouds it. <laughs> You're not upset, I thought, Regala? The Desert respects strength. Why shouldn't I do the same? Wouldn't expect any followers she has left to follow suit, though. I'll help you harvest those pen machines if I can. Probably better if you don't do it on your own. Seems like your village needs you right now. I like her. An outlander after my own heart. We can leave now, or I can meet you at our outpost southeast of here. I'll go with you. Very well. We leave for the southeast canyon. May the Ten protect you, then. I'll await your return and report to the capital. You do that. This way. The sooner we get those machine hearts, the faster we'll get the water we need. Can't believe an outlander would lend us a hand when our own clan won't. And Chitaka has the stones to tell me. The commander has good reason to be strict with our water supply. You think she doesn't? I think she's always talking about how scarce water is in the desert. But do you really think anyone in Scalding Spear is dying of thirst? Or her own squad? No. I bet they dip their hand in the trough whenever they want. Our clan should be led by someone who knows what it's like to scrape by. To fight, tooth and nail, to survive. And I'm guessing that someone is you? I've lived in the fringes of the desert my entire life. 
I fought for every single mouthful of water I've ever had. I know I'm a better fighter. And I'm prettier. Uh-huh. I'd make sure everyone gets all the water they need, no matter what village they're from. Didn't Jataka say you guys have too little to go around to begin with? I'm sure I'll be able to fix that somehow. There's always a way. I guess that's a good way to look at things. Gotta get some more ammo. Follow me. You'll uh, have to excuse the mess. Our soldiers use this place to prepare themselves before herding machines into the canyon. You're uh, welcome to any supplies you can find. Might need them for the fight ahead. Thanks. There we go. Let's move out. So, what's Anora looking for out in the Forbidden West? He says I'm looking for something. I doubt you traveled all the way out here just for the scenery. I'm trying to fix something. I see. All right, you can keep your secrets. Guess I should just be thankful you decided my problems are worth fixing too. We're here. I'll help you harvest machine hearts if it'll get water for your people. Oh, we will. That's the canyon we draw machines into. Then we block them in and pick them off. Now, we'll have to climb over the barricade to get in. When we do, be ready to fight. I already lost good people in there. Can't wait to see the champion killer in action. You go and I'll follow. Hold on to any hearts you loot and I'll take them from you later. Could use purge water against it.
back to their families. If you can harvest the machine hearts, I'd be grateful. all the parts we need. I should take these to Draka. <sighs> May the wings of the Ten carry you home, my brother. I got the hearts. We should head back to Arrowhand. Yeah, at least now we can bag and tag these soldiers. Oh, hold on! Since you can clearly handle a bunch of angry machines, I want to go back to where the Thunderjaw hit us. I lost a lot more fighters there. I can't just leave them to rot. They deserve to be bagged and tagged too. Will you come with me? Lead the way. Glad to have you along. I think so many have to die just to get water. Did you try talking to your commander at Scalding Spear? <sighs> Please, the only thing she'll listen to is the sound of a bow being drawn. About that, wouldn't mind having yours at my side if it ever came to it. I'm just passing through, Draka. Uh, you can't blame me for trying. This is it, where the Thunderjaw ripped through my squad. I'm sorry, Draka. They were warriors to the end. We should get started. Someone's alive, by the rocks. Speak sense, soldier. Furrowers. To battle! Thunderjaw's back. This is gonna get rough.
Plenty dead ravagers around. We can use their cannons! I'll do. I should check on Draka and that soldier. That's an order. Didn't think I was going to make it. You did good, soldier. You're going back home. Thanks to this one. You were the one who refused to leave your people behind. Uh... I know I'm racking up favors here, but, uh... Did you take those hearts back to Arrowhand? We'll be right behind you. Of course. Be careful. With that Thunderjaw heart in hand, we'll get all the water we need. Thank you, Aloy.
Uh, appreciate the extra pair of hands, chap. You're far from <laughs> You've returned. Where's Draka? Just a little late, chaplain. Gained some extra baggage on the way back. She's got the machine hearts, including a thunder jaws. You should have seen this flame in the desert. Here. Something to commemorate our heroic victory. A victory indeed. Command will be relieved to hear about this. Get them to Scalding Spear as soon as you can. And tell the commander how many had to die to get them. Huntress, may I have a word? I heard what you did at the Grove. They say that in addition to your bow and spear, you have a kind of second sight, especially for matters that have to do with the Old Ones. That's one way to put it. So it's true. You've done well by my clan. But our troubles may not be as easily settled as Draka believes. I think your second sight might be just what we need. What exactly is the problem? Not here. Meet me at Scalding's Spear. I'll explain everything. I'll see you there when I can. Good. The entire clan might depend on it. Give less water. These rations barely get us through Bruce the day, attacker. Commander. Our children are thirsty. Why put guards around the wound? You can't just take away our water. The wound gives less water. Our rations adjust. What's going on? We know the way of the desert. What's stopping us from taking what we want? And now. Uh, Anyone else want to complain? We're the Desert Clan. We survive with what we have. Your, uh, commander's not much for hand-holding. That is not our way. Even less so in her case. Shall we? Sure. Can't wait. She's with me. Drak is not the only one with harsh words for your commander. The desert has bred survival into our clan's blood. We spit at death and charge into battle. Maybe a little too eagerly. Your reputation has grown since I saw you last. took down the bulwark, defended the grove, and saved the life of our chief. I'm hoping you've got enough left for one more miracle. What do you need? You'll find out soon enough. <laughs> so, this is the outlander that bested Regala. And now she conspires with the dissident Draka. Demanding water does not make one a dissident, Yara. Doesn't make Draka a commander either. You should advise him of that. Jataka said you needed help. Did he now? Aloy has a unique insight into the ways of the Old Ones. She might be able to fix this before it gets out of hand. Get to the point. What is Jataka talking about? There is no water. What do you mean? I mean the wound in the sand, that which provides the clan with the water we need to survive, is completely dry. 
This water source. Jataka said it's somehow related to the old ones? From what we can tell, whatever water we take, it restores on its own. Over time. A few weeks ago, it stopped. I ordered rationing, searched for other viable sources. But everything else nearby is tainted one way or another. But why the secrecy? Keeping your people in the dark seems to be making things worse. If the clan knew, my command would be challenged. There's no water, and you're worrying about keeping your command? Think what you want. Between the machines, the storms, and Regala's uprising, I'm the only thing keeping this clan from falling apart. Draka's people sacrificed a lot to get that water. He thinks you're hoarding it for yourself. The perfect excuse to challenge my command. Like he's always wanted. Of course, he makes it sound very noble. That he only cares about his thirsty people. But all he really wants is to be in charge. And if he was, he'd face the exact same problem I have. There is simply not enough water to go around. So how are you going to deal with not having any water? Ration what little we have. Buy time to fix the wound. And in the meantime, people die of thirst? Every corpse weighs on me. That is what it means to be a commander. What matters is that the clan survives as a whole. Draka said your clan won't touch Regala. Her grudge is with Chief Hakaro, not me. And I plan to keep it that way, so her troops don't turn on my clan. Besides, if she defeats Hakaro, she deserves to rule. That's the way of the tribe. I can't promise anything, but if this wound was built by the Old Ones, I might be able to fix it. How exactly do you intend to do that? Just show her the wound, Yara. Very well. You can tell me when we get there. After you. The wound in the sand is this way. You're not Karja. We're Osram. I was born amongst the Nora, as far east as you are west. I've heard Enjoy of your time in our settlement. They say only those who are exiled leave your lands. There are exceptions. What business does a Nora exception have in the West? Believe it or not, to help people, even the ones who don't want it. Sounds like a difficult path. This is it. The wound in the sand. Definitely built by the old ones. Focus should show me more. Hives. Leading outside the settlement. What do you see? A trail. What are you doing? Your wound leads underground. We've tried going down there, but it's too narrow for anyone to reach the bottom. Where are you going? I think I can lead us to where the water comes from. Or used to. How? Doesn't matter. What matters is that the wound is fixed and my people survive. Lead the way.
Machines. Those flowers. The crown's wet too. The vein must have leaked here. Not enough to be the cause of the missing water, but enough for these plants to grow. We're on the right track. You see all that from a patch of wet sand? Yep. That mound. It looks like the metal from the wound. We really are following its trail. As I've been saying, the desert kills, but it also surprises. I should check where the pipes are headed with my focus. That goes past that ridge. We're gonna have to do some climbing. Nothing we can't handle, I'm sure. There's a lot of machines. And a very dead soldier. Is he one of yours? I need to take a closer look. We need to get rid of the machines first. Fall in it. You know him? That is one of Draka's men. I would cut off that dissident's head and feed it to the vultures if he had anything to do with... We don't know what happened here yet. And we still have a trail to follow. Lead the way.
water. Barely a lick's worth. But there are no streams in this area. Which means... These anchors. That soldier must have used them to get up this cliff. He must have been going back to Arrowhand when those machines got him. Maybe he found something up there worth reporting back about. We'll find out soon enough. Is this the problem? I'm gonna need my focus. This must be the pipe that connects to Scalding Spear. That weapon looks like Draka's man tried to pry this open, but he didn't know what he was doing. And now the water's not going where it's supposed to. Sabotage or ignorance. That pipe... It looks like it bypasses the damage distribution system. Maybe I can find a way to reroute the water through it. I don't think this is gonna do anything. Maybe if I follow that main pipe, I'll find something useful. What do you need me to do? Just, uh, stay here. Let me know if anything changes. I'll take a look around. It looks like that stopped the water flow. Now I just need to find a way to get it to Scalding Spear. That's the same type of machinery we found outside. Only well, this one's not leaking. Maybe it can help me switch the water flow. Open the valve upstairs. Get that water circulating. Sounds like that did something. Aloy, I can hear water in the room again. Anything leaking? Not that I can see. Let's hope that means my plan worked. That 
should do it. This will return water to Scalding Spear? Checking the wound is the only way to be sure. Draka knew what would happen if the capital was left without water. But he didn't care! All he wanted was to cause a crisis so he could challenge my command. We don't know that for sure. Meet me back at the wound when you can. Please. To make sure the water will flow. I will. Don't do anything rash about Draka. Only an upstart acts rashly. A commander bides her time. Hey. The desert was kind to lead you to us. Things are about to get ugly between Draka and Yara. Maybe I can head it off. Your trade is welcome, Outlander. I see soldiers guarding the wound in the sand. But no Yara. What's going on? I need to see the wound. I'm afraid your presence is required in the commander's quarters. Is everything okay? The dissident Draka has been apprehended for interfering with the wound. How did he interfere? He entered the wound by force. Saw that it was empty, except for a slow trickle that began when you fixed the device in the desert. He did not take it well. Of course he didn't. I'll go meet with them. Some nerve. You're one to talk. That doesn't sound good. Watch your tone. Or what? You let. How could you let this happen? How did I let this happen? You're the one who sabotaged the wound in the first place. You're lucky we were able to fix it, or your head would already be on a spear. You call that fixed? It's just a dribble. 
And it's not my fault. I already told you, Ukta came to me. He said he found something in the desert that might get us water. I had no idea it had anything to do with the wound. And you expect me to believe that? Aloy, I came for the water that was owed to us. And when I found out that there is no water, they arrested me. As I already told you, the water is returning, but slowly. It'll be weeks before the wound is full again. Until then, I will send Arrowhand what I can. You hid what happened to the wound. How can we believe you now? Draka. No, you know what? Enough of this. No more words. <laughs> Consider that a challenge. <gasps> Gather your squads then, and meet us at the gate of the vanquished. I have a challenge to prepare for. Leave me. This will be the end of the clan. I have to stop it. We have to stop it. Hold on a second. Help me understand. What do you mean, the end of the clan? Both sides will take their most loyal squads to the Gate of the Vanquished. Then they'll butcher each other as part of a ritual challenge. But it won't stop there. Whoever wins will try to wipe out the loser's loyalists all over the desert. The fighting could last for months. Those two scabheads are going to doom us all. Can't you stop them? I'm a chaplain. I provide counsel. I cannot force them to heed it. Even Chief Akaro can't intervene. It is a matter for the clan alone. What is this gate? The doorway to a dead cauldron. A symbol of what the tribe aspires to. The defeat of deranged machines. Dead. What shut it off? No one knows, but it is a place of great significance for our clan. Even greater now, since it will mark the onslaught of a massacre. What makes you think I can help you stop them? I'm not even from this tribe. They both owe you a debt. You aided them when no one else could. And you've seen into their hearts, just like I have. Misguided in different ways, but no less worthy of the people they protect. Your words might be enough to spear some sense into them. Yeah, well, they're not exactly good listeners. And you are no ordinary speaker. You took down the unyielding bulwark, fought off an assault of Regala's machines. I will go to the Gate of the Vanquished, southwest of here, to stall them. But without you, I'm afraid we'll run out of body bags fast. Warrior, I needed the practice. If what Jataka says is true, Yara and Draka will end up killing a lot more than just each other. There has to be something I can do. I think I might head over to the hunting grounds later, you then? Sure. Might as well set a new record. So why don't we make this more interesting? Every battle brings surprises. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
I'll see you at training later. That's a lot of angry to knock. Draka and Yara are already here. This challenge has Did the enemy issued. give you any they trouble out there? Commander. You can stop this. She can try. <sighs> You're here. Ah, the hero of the cool roots. Aloy. Did you come to witness the challenge? Does there have to be a challenge? Oh yeah, there does. If you persist, all of these squads will join the fights. How many will die here? And how many will die in our villages once the retaliation begins? There has to be another way. Listen to what she has to say. You both owe her that much. You lost a lot of good people hunting machine hearts to trade for water. You want to lose more now? But that cost is exactly why I'm doing this. Why I had to send people to find other sources in the first place. I swear to you, I had nothing to do with what happened to the wound. Ukta came to me, said he found underground leaks that might lead to another well. That's all. I didn't tell him to screw it all up and drain the wound. So stand down so we can all talk about this. No. No more talking, no more lies. Yara can't be trusted. That's been proved. Yara, do you really need to do this? He sabotaged the wound. You can't tell me you believe he knew nothing about it. And it was all part of his plan to force a confrontation. Don't you see? This is what he's wanted all along. It doesn't matter how many die as long as he gets what he wants. Command of the clan. No. I'm putting an end to this. Now! Is this how you two plan to save your clan? By causing a massacre over who gives the orders? Drop this foolishness and work together. She's right. Put away your spears. Return to your homes. Which means she stays in charge? Forget it! You see? Replacing me is all he cares about. It's a vendetta. And it has to end here. Well, for once, we agree. Pick a side, Aloy. Because we're settling this now. There must be a way to minimize the bloodshed. The Tanakh never make things easy, do they? I'm afraid not. This isn't about Draka conspiring against you, Yara. It's about your people. You lied to them about the wound. You also said their survival is all that matters. Was that a lie too? If it wasn't, then stand down. Give Draka a shot at command. It was no lie. Which is why I'll never hand over command to the likes of him. Then fight us. Just us. You want to save lives? Keep your squads out of it. I've seen how you fight. These soldiers are with me. Then we stand with Aloy and Draka. Even numbers. I'll take no joy in fighting either of you. New rules! We're keeping it to just us. Winner takes command. They spotted me! Oh boy, have I been looking forward to this.
it's over. <laughs> well, you're gonna make me wait around? didn't need to do that. Akaro didn't, and Regala bit him in the ass. <sighs> okay, so... What's the plan? The wound still doesn't have enough water for everyone. I'll gather the leaders from all the desert villages. We'll figure it out. For a second there, you sounded like a real commander. Your confidence is inspiring. Here. Take this. My thanks for what you did here today. You didn't have to get involved. I won't forget what you did, Desert Flame. Gemini, or the Gate of the Vanquished to the Danag. I'll be back here soon enough to capture Hephaestus. I'll miss your bow, and your company. There is nothing else we could have done, Huntress. We'll make sure Yara gets the respect she deserves. Now the clan can have a fresh start. Draka will do his best to listen. It's all we can ask for. Ah, machine killer. On your way. There is nothing else we could have done, Huntress.